Hello everyone and welcome to PCI Tech TV. My name is Kevin and today I want to show you how easy it is to perform polarimetric analysis in Geomatica. What I have here in front of me is an image of Flevolin in the Netherlands. It's an image that is freely available on uh, McDonald Detweiler's website, MDA's website. If you uh, navigate to uh, this URL, which is, um, or if you just simply Google RaiderSat2 sample data set, you'll land on this page and uh, you can click on the Flevelins icon and uh, here you have direct links to the uh, data sets that are available um, that are in fine quad um, and fully polar metric. So this is what we require to do polar metric analysis. We need fully polar metric data set and so what I've done is I've downloaded this Fine Quad 9 Raider Set 2 image over Flevelin in the Netherlands. Um, so here I have the image displayed in uh, focus and what I want to achieve is essentially uh, perform a decomposition, in this particular case a 2Z decomposition, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to do that uh, right now. So the first thing we'll do is we'll load up our uh, Geomatical toolbar and I'll just close focus for now. We'll open up Modeler. So as you can see, when I open up the algorithm librarian, I can search for specific algorithms. So there's over 550 algorithms in Geomatica. I'm just going to enter a search term and put uh, 2Z to quickly find it. I'm going to go find it. So the 2Z decomposition is PS2ZDEC. That's the name of the algorithm. So in Modeler, it's quite nice. We have preset examples. So what I can do is I can actually open this individual algorithm or I can load an example. And you'll see when I do that, it gives me a preset canvas with all of the various uh, algorithms all set up. There's one intermediate step here that we need to be careful that we perform, which is the PS boxcar filter uh, that needs to be done on the uh, polarimetric data after we import it. So this is just a, a, a nicely uh, put together uh, model essentially that has everything set up so that we can successfully run it. So I'll double click on the import button and I'll make sure that I'm uh, selecting my data set that I downloaded. So I downloaded my data set and I placed it in this folder. So here's the RaiderSat2 uh, data folder that you'll get when you extract the uh, zip file off MDA's website. So if you click on product.xml and open that up you can specify the calibration type. I'll just select none for now and basically hit accept. The only other thing we need to change really is the output. Specify where we want to put this, this uh, specific file. There are some uh, uh, options for, for different parameters here, uh, but I'll just make sure that I specify a location that uh, that's going to work for me. And uh, so I'm just putting it in the same folder as the, as the file and accept that and it's also going to uh, export out to the viewer once it's done and essentially once you're ready to go you just hit run quite simple this does take a little bit of time I think it, it on, on my particular machine um, it's uh, I have a laptop machine it's not uh, the latest and greatest but it's a pretty decent machine it took about uh, six or seven minutes to run uh, from start to finish so I'll just hit start and I'll uh, load that up in, in a second here Okay, so the processing is completed, so what I'll do is I'll load up the results in focus. I've already set up a project here with the results. So you can see the original image here underneath. It's currently displaying HH, HV, and VV in the red, green, and blue guns. And um, so you can interpret the information uh, in terms of the dominant scattering and the different channels with the colors. Um, but you can also interpret the uh, backscatter using the 2Z decomposition, which is what I have loaded here. Um, won't get into a long detailed explanation about uh, the 2Z decomposition, but uh, suffice it to say that uh, uh, there's a lot of information available in our in our online help and also uh, through various research papers to find out uh, um, the particular uh, parameters that are calculated and how to use those for different types of analyses. You can also export this out to uh, Google Earth, which is kind of nice, so we can take a look at what the underlying uh, features are, so we can see that we have uh, uh, some of these um, the blue areas here are predominantly built up or urban areas. Uh, we have some forested areas which has got some probably some very diffuse scattering um, that's uh, 
coming up as a certain color. And, uh, and also we have some uh, agricultural fields here, not a whole uh, lot or, or definitely a lot less response than, uh, than maybe a forest, uh, forest cover. Um, so that, that's it. Quite easy to perform this analysis in uh, Geomatica, as I mentioned. And uh, hope that helps. And if you uh, have any questions, be sure to let us know. You can leave comments down below and make sure you subscribe for more updates. Thanks very much.